Welcome to the Advanced Cardiac Life Support Chapter on Post-Cardiac Arrest Care. After the return of spontaneous circulation, or ROSC, in a patient, proper post-cardiac arrest care is critical to achieving the best results when it comes to the survival and quality of life of the patient. Post-cardiac arrest care is meant to preserve heart and tissue function. Now, let's talk about the steps and measures to take when dealing with ROSC in a patient. Check the patient's heart rhythm during ACLS survey and note if the patient's rhythm is organized and check if there is a pulse. Optimize ventilation and oxygenation by maintaining an oxygen saturation of greater than or equal to 94%, placing an advanced airway early on, and using waveform capnography to monitor the correct placement of tubes. If the patient's blood pressure is very low with the systolic blood pressure, or SBP, less than 90 millimeters of mercury, then you treat hypotension by doing the following. Administer an IV bolus of one to two liters of normal saline. To reach either an SBP of greater than 90 or a mean arterial pressure of over 65, administer the following via IV infusion. Epinephrine at a dosage of 0.1 to 0.5 micrograms per kilogram per minute, or dopamine at a dose of 5 to 10 micrograms per kilogram per minute, or norepinephrine at a dosage of 0.1 to 0.5 micrograms per kilogram per minute. If the patient cannot follow verbal commands, consider performing induced hypothermia by cooling the patient's core body temperature to 32 to 34 degrees Celsius or 89.6 to 93.2 Fahrenheit. Induced hypothermia is an intervention that can be effective in patients whose heart rate has restarted but are still not responsive. But if the patient is in fact able to follow verbal commands, then you should go straight to the next step and get a 12-lead ECG. Get a 12-lead ECG immediately after ROSC to determine if the patient has STEMI or AMI and coronary reperfusion to restore blood flow should be attempted right away. The patient should then be transferred to an intensive care unit. To see the full post-cardiac arrest care algorithm, please take a look at the chart included in this section. This was the chapter on post-cardiac arrest care. Please proceed to the next section of this course to learn more.